Check it out, this fan got a turbo. Woo! It's 2023 and you're saying to yourself, it's getting warmer outside. Summer's right around the corner, but what fan should I use to keep myself cool? Now, I know a lot of you are in the certain market. You're in Cobalt, Rigid, Skill, Ryobi, tons of different stuff. So today I'm bringing a bunch to the channel and if you're in a specific brand, well, you can stay in that brand. And we got everything that's gonna suit your needs. We got little baby fans. We got big fans. I got really cool fans that have special features that you're gonna say to yourself, well, that's real nice like how did i ever live without that i don't know so all in all in today's video i got some cool fans that are going to help keep you cool and let's just get it started now the first thing i want to point out to you today is that every single fan runs on a bat ray but there's other fans here that will run on bat ray or a plug corded so these are 100 percent portable every single one of them when you go into a beach you're working on the job site you're in the garage you can take this with you i, I don't know what you do but first let's take a look at the little baby fans now, don't let these things fool you. They're small, but they're extremely convenient, and some of them have some really cool features. The first one we have here is the Ryobi, not Ryobi. This is the 18 volt, and this is the skill which really has some cool features that I'm gonna show you here in a second. All right, the Ryobi first. Now, the one thing that sticks out is the clip right here, and these clips are really, really good. They clip on basically anything. You can swivel your head the whole way around. And what's nice about this, it runs off that 18 volt bat ray. You can go low, or high simply by flipping that switch right there. And I could also adjust the head up and down, swivel it all around. That way I'm nice and cool. Now this came out about a year or two ago and I'll tell you what, it's a fantastic fan, but skill sort of stepped it out. Now this is the same sort of fan. It's the small little baby fan and it runs off of bat ray or electric. Here's where this is special. Now, if you're already in the skill lineup and it doesn't matter if you're in a 20 volt lineup, the 20 volt bat rays will work. And it's even more quiet or maybe you're not in the 20 volt lineup. Maybe you're in the 12 volt lineup. So not only will this take the 20 volt, it'll also take the 12 volt as well. And it works just as good, but not only that. Say you want this fan and you say, well, I ain't got no 12 or 20 volt bat rays from skill. It's not an issue. You see that right there? That's a C port. So I can take my cord. And what's cool about this is if you don't already know, the Power Core 20 has a USB. So you don't need a battery. You can plug this right into the wall if you want. You know, you just use your 110 and you take this and you just plug it in like so. But because Skill has this option on their bat rays, I'm just gonna push that button. That's real nice like. And not only that, it also has the clip so you can adjust this and put this where you want it to be simply by opening that up and then adjusting the clamp. And again, you can hang it like this, you can hang it like that, whatever. So just to give you an idea for how quiet this thing is and the different power sources I give it the Skill, but the clamp, I will tell you, I still like the Ryobi, not Ryobi's better, but both are really, really good fans. And you can see right here, the skill is definitely smaller as well. So props to them on this. So these are your little baby fans here. Let's move it to the mid-size fans. All right, so now we got some mid-size fans right here. And you can see I got a rigid, I got another skill, and I got the Ryobi, not Ryobi. All right, so first up, let's take a look at the rigid fan. Now there's nothing really fancy about this fan right here. I mean, it takes a plug, or it'll take the 18 volt, any 18 volt rigid bat ray, and you got your speeds on here. Now, what I will tell you about this fan, it's a workhorse. And again, nothing special about it. You do got some hangers on the back. You can put this on your rafters or your deck or whatever you're doing. All in all, it's a workhorse. I've been using this a lot. It came out not too long ago, and it's been a really good fan. So if you're in the platform, you want to check that out. But let's take a look at the skill and what they did to that. Now, the skill work fan, a little bit bigger than the baby work fan, same thing. You can adjust just like you can on a rigid. It's not going to allow you to move back and forth. Neither does a rigid or the other fan I'm going to show you. But same thing power-wise with this fan. It will take the 20 volt. It will take the 12 volt. And you also have that sweet, sweet USB-C port right there. Look at it. <laughs> now, it's a little bit hard to see on the back right here, but you can hang this as well. So, you know, you put this up on your 2 by forge and... Oh, you're good to go. Let's hear it real quick. All right, so that's the high sound, low sound, super easy to adjust. This is the rigid right here. We'll just turn that on, and that's on low. We'll turn it up on high, and again, it's, it's a workhorse. 
works real nice like. I do like the option that you can plug this into a 110. Now here's another miniature fan or a, a mid fan, you know, mid-size fan like we were just looking at, but this has a really cool feature that I think a lot of you are really going to like. Now this is the Ryobi Whisper, and anytime you see anything that says Ryobi Whisper on it, that's like the top of the line of anything they put out. Now on the back right here, you can see I can open up this and I got my bat ray, and you're gonna say to yourself, well, why is it like that? Why are you hiding your bat ray? Well, because this fan has a really cool feature. So I'm just gonna turn this on, it's low, and you go high. So you're just set at two settings. It's not like you can adjust it to like a medium. It's either low or high. But if you can see right there, you have another switch, another button that you can use. And what does that do? Well, what's cool about this is you just take this out like so right there. You take this out like so right there. And now you can take this part and attach it to a hose, or you can take this part and drop it into a bucket. Or how, if you wanted to make it extremely portable, drop it into a pop or soda bottle. But now let me show you what I can do. I'm gonna hit low. We'll just hit low real quick. And now what I can do is I can come over here and I can turn this on a low or high. We'll put this on a high mist. You can see right here, those are misting fans. Now I have this on high. You can see it's pulling the water out of that bottle right there. But if I wanted to, I can come on and put this fan on high and that's really gonna give you a finer mist. Now I don't know how well this is picking up on the camera right there. Believe you me, it's gonna keep you real nice and cool like. All right, so now that we looked at the cool mid-sized fans, let's take a look at the bigger fans that are gonna push some more air for you and then the Mac Daddy's coming up and wait until you see this freaking thing. All right, now that we, uh, now that we're moving on to the bigger fans, let's start it out with the Ryobi, not Ryobi Air Cannon. This is the Whisper Series and brand new, but it's not 18 volt. They have 18 volts. This is the 40 volt. So if you want to run something like all day long, this might be the way you want to go. Now looking at this thing, it's not huge, but it's going to push out some air and it's pretty easy to adjust up and down. You got your stand over here. Just crank your levers right there. It's not gonna go anywhere on you. But you can see on the back right there, well, that's a 40 volt, but not only does it run on the 40, well, it comes with its own plug. Now, this is the only downside about this. I wish it would have came with just a regular, you know, 110 outlet type of deal, but it's not. You're gonna have an AC DC adapter. Rock on, Ryobi. Now, again, your 40 volt, it's gonna drop in the back like so, or you can go with your it's a DC thunderstruck. That was gonna go into your outlet. Now you don't have to use a 6 h you can use a smaller 40 volt bat race from Ryobi, not Ryobi, but this thing is super quiet. Your speed adjustments, well, that's right there. We're on one, we're gonna go two, three, and then off. And what's nice about this is that it goes from zero to high instead of usually how it goes zero to low to medium to high, it goes to zero to high. That my friends, that's real nice like. But even with this thing on high, you can still hear me talking just fine. That's why they call it the Whisper Series. It is super, super quiet, but you're still pushing out some real nice air. All right, so that is the Ryobi, not Ryobi air cannon. Let's move it over to the next one. So this, my dude and dudettes, is the Cobalt. And this is a brand new fan. It literally just hit the market, like the Whisper and all these other ones. Cobalt brushless. Not only is it a powered with the cord, type of fan, but it also takes a 40 volt. All right, so check this out. This is the Cobalt 40 volt bat ray, and these things charge really quick. Now this is a 2.0, but really, really fast from a completely drained bat ray up to 100% in like 25 minutes. Now this 40 volt, is gonna go in just like so. It's gonna tell you how much more bat ray power you have left. And to take it out, all you gotta do is push that button. It literally ejects itself. So it's like a spring loaded, which is, also real nice. -like. Now your controls this time, they're actually gonna be up top. So I'm just gonna loosen this up a little bit and bring this down. You can hear it clicking. So it's just not gonna like fall on you. It actually sort of locks in a little bit and then you can lock that down. But here's your controls. Now this is gonna go from zero to medium to high, all the way up to four. It's a little bit louder. Sounds like your conventional fan. It's not whisper series quiet, but it's not super crazy loud. Again, definitely louder. But this thing is also a workhorse. I've used this to dry out my water tank. It was leaking, and then I had to put a new one in. There's just water everywhere. This circulating the air just fine. I ran it for a couple days straight to get all that water out of there, and it worked perfectly. Now, of course, the bat ray is not gonna give me that amount of time. However, plugging this thing in right here, it did. All you do is take this, again, it's just gonna pop out like so. And then on the bottom right here, you can see that's where the plug is going to go. The other nice thing about this is extremely freaking light, extremely portable. So again, you got the bat ray power, you can plug this thing in, and I'll tell you what, it's a really nice unit. But now I'm going to show you the Mac Daddy of them all, the one that's gonna blow you 
freaking way. And it's by none other than Ego. Let me tell you something, my friend. End all be all right here. This fan, if you're a professional, you're outside in the yard, you're out by the pool, you're landscaping, working on the site, this thing is absolutely fantastic and got so many cool features. Let me show you exactly how this thing works. So number one, I can set this up like so if I want to. So that's gonna be for your sweet, sweet storage, but it also has a handle right here. So the handle will go down or it'll lock in an upright position or you just bring it back down again. But this is now able to be towed around like so with the handle right there. You got two of those sweet, sweet caster wheels on the back. Now, some people say that they wish they had these a little bit larger, sort of agree with them if you're going out in that larger, muddier, rockier, whatever area, but still they work very well. Now you can set this thing back down. Now on the back right here, you're gonna have your control panel. Also, you're gonna be able to put your battery in there. Now, now this does not plug in. You can't run a cord on this. However, the Ego Bat Rays, they're fantastic. They charge extremely fast and you can use any Ego Bat Ray in this. Locks up, protects it. You're gonna get up to 60 hours of runtime on this freaking fan. But this, my friends, is where all of the magic happens. Now, just like on the Ryobi, not Ryobi, you're gonna see these right here. Instead of having two, you're gonna have four. This is gonna put out water and it's missing. And I'll tell you what, you never felt anything like it. It's so evenly dispersed and you could put it on higher, lower, turbo. I'm gonna show you here. This thing, you can drench yourself if you want or you can stand back and just keep cool if you want. You also do not need to run the water. So if you just wanna use as a fan without the misting, that's fine, you can do that as well. Now we're gonna turn this on in a second, but I just wanna show you how easy it is to adjust this fan. You just turn that knob like I showed you right there and it's very smooth action. You go up, down. And around. So up to 60 hours of runtime on this thing on a single charge. You got 20 mile per hour wind speeds and you got 5,000 cubic feet per minute using this bad boy. Let's go to the control panel. So we got our bat ray in as you can see. This is your power button. Now I'm gonna bring this all the way down. It's all digital. So it's low, you don't even hear it. You can hear the water coming out of that hose more than you can hear that. We're gonna go to number two. This is just regular fan, this is not misting. Go to number three. Number four, number five, and get ready for it, the turbo button. Hoo-wee! This freaking thing puts out a crazy amount of freaking air. I mean, it is fantastic. I mean, it just pushes it in your face. But let's hook some water up to this bad boy. So this is attached to the back of the fan right here, just like we were on the other fan. Just drop that in your bucket right there. Oh, FYI, don't worry about any of that dirt hey. You got a filter right there. Now check this out. I'm gonna turn on my misting fan. I'm gonna hit power and I'm just gonna go low first. And this is really gonna give a, a pretty nice spray. I mean, it's, it's not crazy. You can see it pulling up through that hose right there. Look at it, watch it. And now here it goes. It's gonna start squirting out. All right, now again, we're on low. So if you stand really close to this, you're gonna get pretty drenched. Let's turn this up on high. Well, not high, we'll go medium, we'll go up one. So there's the next one. We're on like the second right here. Here's number three. Here's number four. Here's number five. And now that mist gets even finer and finer. And then we're gonna go turbo mode. You can barely even see that mist, but it's definitely coming out. You got a really, really far reach on this fan. Now let's kick this thing up on turbo. We're gonna hit our button right there. Look at that. Now I'll tell you what, the spray on this thing, it's so fine, but it reaches so freaking far. Oh, that's real nasty. But check this out. I'm gonna hit this button right here. I'm gonna take this off. You see the two lights? You're gonna go down to one light. Check that out, you're on one light right now. So here's what this does. You can see there's a little bit of water blowing out, and now it stops. So within about five seconds, this thing's gonna kick on again. And there you go. Automatically start spraying. Sprays for about three seconds, and then it shuts off again. So instead of having that continuous water, you're gonna get hit, you're gonna cool down a little bit, it's gonna evaporate, you're gonna get hit again after the five seconds. There it goes again, kick it on. Three seconds, and it shuts off. How freaking real nice like is that? Now again, you can see me, it's just shutting off. I, this thing is so freaking awesome. I'm just gonna turn this on. I just hit this button. If I want this on full time, just hit that button. You're gonna have two lights kick on, and what's gonna happen is it's gonna start blowing out. Look at it. Look at it. 
So even though every one of these fans have a place and they're really cool, this right here is the Mac Daddy. It's built very well. I'll put a link in the description for all these here. This Ego fan though, I can't get over it. It is just, yeah, you know. But of course, I want to know what you think. Leave me a comment in that Shweesh Wee comment section below. Which fan do you like the best? Are you planning on getting any one of these fans? Love hearing that Shweesh Wee feedback. Also, if you want to see more videos like this, just subscribe, hit that bell notification. We upload multiple times a week. Share this video out. YouTube ain't going to do it. Trust me, your friends are going to like you a whole lot more. And I'll leave a couple more videos for you right here. I think you're going to like this too. We'll be back with more videos soon.